what kind of music if you're enjoying music these days if you if you're listening to stuff what kind of music are you enjoying these days um mm-mm. i i need to i need to have a look um on napster i mean spotify <laughs> uh, Nap- <see>. napstify <laughs> napstify uh i've been listening to a lot of turnstile uh, lately okay newer band um i discovered them a couple of years ago uh they're they're that's a band that i think everyone sh- should uh, check out young band from uh, baltimore punk um it's it's one of those bands um uh, that i think they're just as good as the bands uh, were back when i was more into music okay um yeah other than that, it's a lot of recycled stuff. I do listen to Queens of the Stone Age still a lot. They're my favorite band. Uh, Radiohead. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you heard of them. And um, this is a band that I listened uh, listened um, a lot to. And you will know us by the Trail, the of, Trail Dead. of Dead. Yeah, good. That's yes. a, that's a really that's a really good band. Um, yeah, I, I almost like I usually go a couple of years uh, not listening to them forgetting about their existence and then I rediscover them so I've been listening yeah. to them a lot lately yeah um, yeah they're like them and Queens of the Stone Age really important bands to me because they sh- they they're really good at making guitar music still yes uh, without being like too attached to the 90s or 80s or like early 2000s they're still doing kind of new stuff um but with Queens of the Stone Age I'm I'm uh, I'm listening mostly to the older stuff I'm not that into the newer albums sadly I wish I wish yeah. I liked them better that would have been yeah that that would have been my my question because um same as you, I like the I like the old stuff. Um, I think that Songs for the Deaf is still a, one of the best albums uh, they they did. Obviously, yep. the albums before that as well. But I've been listening a lot to the latest album, um, and um, not only because my son likes them in the car, and then he's you know he's quiet and he's banging his head and he's like he yeah. likes it. Um, but what I found out is that. There are a couple of songs where I thought uh, Josh Hom was actually sounding more like David Bowie than yeah yeah than himself, um, <laughs> which yep. is which is interesting. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Like uh, with the first couple of singles, I thought um, uh, this is going to be a great album, and there are some songs on there that I like. Hmm. Uh, but but I don't know if it's me or if it's the band. Uh, I think it's close to impossible to make eight good albums. I don't think that's possible. Um, mm. Or at least for one person to like all albums from a band. I don't think I there's any band where I just like everything. Uh, mm, yeah, so, difficult. Yeah, so I... Mm-hmm. I, I don't really blame them for it. They're mm. they're still doing their thing, but they're doing it in a slightly different way that I'm into. Mm. Yeah. So I like initially wanted to make a video about it and almost like a ranty video, but <laughs> like oh, then that, yeah, that's not a good thing. Worms, like. Uh, I'm just a fan. They don't owe me anything. Uh, yeah. They're just doing their thing, and if I'm not that into it, it's it's fine. But I've been asked a lot about it because I do so. I've done so many like Queens of the Stone Age related videos on my channel. I get asked a ton about like, do you like the new album? And mm. I wanted to do a video on it, and I didn't. And I'm glad that I did not. I- yeah. I have an idea though for you, yeah. Eric. How about you do a video where you compare the sound from previous albums with the new guitar tone from the new albums? 
where you criticize the guitar tone. You say, hey, this was like this, and now it's like that. And then you can ask your audience, what do you think? Do you think the sound is the same, or do you prefer the new one or the old one? Yeah. So you can kind of get to address that, but through guitar. Yeah. Right? It's like, like before, it seemed to me like they were more innovative about the their approach to guitar tone and what mics they choose and what amps they were choosing and stuff like that. And now maybe it's a little more polished and it sounds less refined and less exper less experimental. Just give an, exa yeah. an example here, but that could be that could be a fun video. Yeah, I, th I th that's really interesting because I wouldn't say that it's more polished. Polished. Uh, I think it's. I think they're going in the opposite direction. Yeah. By making yeah. it even more weird, like miking a small amp from like like in the completely different end of the room, like really weird miking uh, techniques. So I, I, I'm almost thinking that the older tones are more like traditional <laughs> in some sort of way and that they're stretching it a bit too far with the newer stuff. But that's indeed a very good idea for for a... I want you to deal. make it. Yeah, and I can like <laughs> sneak in some um, some ranting about the new stuff without yeah yeah just these little clips yeah. that are like 10 seconds and then you get back to the guitar yeah. playing people what the hell was that 